One of my favorite things to look at um, when you're studying triangles in geometry are the centers of triangles. And what I find so fascinating about the centers of triangles is that there's four different centers for any, any one triangle. Uh, so, so I'd like to do a quick video on two of those four centers, the circumcenter and the incenter. And each, each center of a triangle sort of comes with its own theorem. So we'll talk about the circumcenter theorem and the incenter theorem. Okay. So first, let's, let's talk about the circumcenter. If I have some triangle, and uh, I'll just call this triangle, triangle ABC, Uh, the circumcenter is the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisectors of each side of the triangle. So first you have to sort of find the midpoints for each of these. And I'll call the midpoints um, D, E, and F. And then you're going to construct the perpendicular bisector, so it's going to be the perpendicular line that goes through the midpoints of each of these. So there's one. There's two. And uh, they intersect at a point there, they're concurrent, the perpendicular bisectors of a triangle are concurrent, and they're concurrent at the circumcenter. So those are all the perpendicular bisectors. So this point is the circumcenter. What's cool about the circumcenter is that it is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So that's the circumcenter theorem. The circumcenter theorem says that the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So if I call this point uh, point G, if I say G is the circumcenter, then GB, GC, and GA are all congruent to one another. <clears throat> and if you consider GC, GB, and GA each to be radii of a circle, then the circumcenter is the center of the circle that circumscribes the triangle. So it goes all the way around the triangle and contains the vertices of the, of the triangle. So the circumcenter G is the center of the triangle, excuse me, the center of the circle that sort of grabs each of the vertices of the triangle. So that's the circumcenter. What about the incenter? All right. So I guess we'll look at the incenter on this side. I'll draw a new triangle. And we'll call this triangle triangle ABC. The incenter is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors of each angle in the triangle. So if I bisect angle A, Bisect angle B, and bisect angle C, these three points are concurrent, and they're concurrent at the in center. So I guess I'll just call that point I for 
the in-center. Now the in-center theorem says that the in-center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. Now what does it mean to be equidistant from the sides of the triangle? That means that if you drop a perpendicular from I to each of the sides, then those three segments will be congruent. So if we drop a perpendicular from I to AC, it's this, that segment. If we drop a perpendicular from I to BC, it's that segment. And perpendicular from I to AB, it's that segment. So obviously it's not drawn to scale here. It's, my drawing isn't perfect. But those three segments are congruent. That's the in-center theorem. The in-center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So you can think of these three as radii of a circle. Then the in-center is the center of the circle that's inscribed in the triangle. So the in-center is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors. So when you see in-center, think of angle bisectors. The circumcenter is the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisectors. So think perpendicular bisectors. And the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices. And the in-center is equidistant from the sides.